Hello everyone, my name is Sun Xi and this video is for strategic management course. Today's topic is the study of entry luxury brand Michael Kors. I will talk about the basic information of Michael Kors first, then is the financial performance and value proposition. And I will also help you to understand the brand deeply by using some analyzing method, such as world analysis, tons metrics, and competitive forces model. Lastly, I will talk about the strategies of Michael Kors and some of my recommendations. Let's start with Michael Kors history. Established in 1981, Michael Kors Holding Limited, hereinafter referred as MKHL, is a legend in luxury industry. It has over 500 stores across the most prestigious cities in the world in only 36 years. MKHL licensed Asti Laundry for perfume in 2003 and issued watches with Fossil in 2004. The biggest events in recent time for MKHL is acquiring Jimmy Choo, which is the luxury shoe brand in July this year. Talking about the acquisition, MKHL is not the first entry luxury brand to acquire another brand. Coach has acquired Stotts Wiseman and Kate Spade earlier this year and become the strongest competitor for MKHL. And this video, which talks about why MKHL buys Jimmy Choo, gives the hint for business environment of luxury industry in the future. Let's look at the financial performance for MKHL from 2012 to 2016, we can see that the stock price had grown fast from 2012 to 2014, and it hit the top in the early year of 2014. Then we see a sharp decrease from 2014 to 2016. From 2016 to now, the stock price has fluctuated a lot. The stock can reflect the organizational life cycle for MKHL in some extent. The brand had its most prestigious days in 2014 and has been facing with condensed competition nowadays. We can also find the proof in its financial statements. Net sales stays almost the same from 2014, 15 to 2016. It only increased 8% in 2016. When we analyze MKHL in deep, it seems that the brand is losing its market. Competitive forces model shows MKHL is facing with intense threats from new entrants with bold design and old brand with history and culture. By using SWOT analysis and Towns metrics, the Max Max strategy shows MKHL should make good use of social media, uh, such as the YouTube, the WeChat, to open shoe market and develop Chinese market. Mini Max strategy tells that the brand should decrease discounting to retain the brand's value. And Max Mini strategy illustrates that MKHL needs to keep an eye on the environmentally friendly materials. While Mini Mini strategy shows the brand needs more creativity in design. MKHL has strategies for future development. First, it plans to close 100 stores to 125 stores for financial growth. Online shopping is more and more popular in these days. MKHL will open the online shopping website for China and Europe next year. Acquiring Jimmy Choo is the market strategy for MKHL to enlarge its economic scale and bring more profits. Furthermore, MKHL knows how to deal with the relationship between employees. They even grant share-based awards to employees and directors. Overall, 
MKHL is a matured company which has lots of typical design. I myself used to be a fan for MK bags, but in these years, the brand needs to update itself. And my recommendation is first, concentrate more on design itself because the virtue of luxury products is design. Second, focus more on Chinese market since Chinese has a growing number of middle class. These people can be the potential target for MK. And lastly, de develop multiple areas of products. Successful luxury organizations have full areas of products, including skincare, shoes, accessories, and even furniture. So if MKHL wants to be next Louis Vuitton Moïs Hennis, MKHL needs to be develop more kinds of products. And this is my presentation. Thank you for your 